Hi, welcome to another video in my series on solving simultaneous equations by elimination. And in this one, we're going to look at this question here, number six. I'm assuming that you've worked your way through these ones here. And in this particular question, number six, it's different because neither the x terms nor the y terms are exactly the same. So how do we go about solving something like this? Well, first of all, let's just number the two equations, one and two. And there's two ways now that we can do this. We can either make the x terms exactly the same, or we could make the y terms exactly the same. I'll run through both methods so you can compare them. So if we decide to make, say, the x terms exactly the same, what I need to do is find a number that both the 7 and the 5 go into, preferably the lowest number, the lowest common multiple of these two, which would be 35. And so what I'm going to do is take equation 1 and multiply both sides of the equation by 5. That will bring this one up to 35x. And in equation 2, I'm going to bring this up to 35x by multiplying both sides by 7. So if I take equation 2, okay, I'm going to multiply that by 7. So let's do that. Now, if I multiply equation 1 by 5, we've got two terms on the left. So we've got to multiply both of these terms by 5. So we're going to get 35x. And then when we multiply the minus 2y by 5, we get minus 10y. And we've got to multiply the right-hand side, the 22 by 5. And if we do that, we get 110. Now we'll take equation 2 and multiply this through by 7. So we've got 7 times 5x is going to be 35x. And 7 times 3y is plus 21y. And 7 times 29 gives us 203. So what I've got here are two equations, two new equations developed from 1 and 2. So we're going to call them 3 and 4. And what we do now is basically the same as what we did, say, in question 2 and in question 1, when the x terms were exactly the same. When they're exactly the same, we can eliminate them by doing subtraction. So you can either do equation 3 take away 4, or 4 take away 3. Makes no difference. So I'm going to do equation 4 take away equation 3. The reason I'm doing it that way around is because I'm looking at the 203. It's bigger than the 110. But it's up to you. You could do 3 take away 4. You should get exactly the same answer for y as I do. So if we do this, 4 take away 3, 35x minus 35x is 0. And when it comes to working out the y terms, we've got plus 21y, just put it over here, plus 21y, and then we are subtracting the other y term, which is minus 10y. So we've got two minuses here, replace them with a plus, 21y plus 10y, is going to be equal to 31y. Okay, so we've got 31y, therefore 31y equals, and we've got 203 now, take away 110, which is 93. So dividing both sides now by 31 gives us y equals 93 divided by 31, which is going to be 3. And now we've got our y value, we can substitute that value of y, sub y equals 3, into any of our equations, any of our four equations here. We'd still end up with exactly the same value for x. But I'm going to substitute it into, say, equation, let's go into equation 2, say, okay? purely because it's got a positive term here. I don't fancy working with the negatives. So let's say substitute into 2. 
Try it in any of the others though, should get exactly the same answer for x. So if we do that, we've got say 5 times x, so it's going to be therefore 5x plus 3 times y, 3 times the y value which is 3, equals 29. And so therefore we have 5x plus 9 equals 29. Take away 9 from both sides, that gives us 5x equals 20. Divide both sides by 5 and you end up with x equaling 4. So in summary then, we've therefore got x equals 4 and y equals 3. And you can check those out, they will work, they will give you these values. Okay. Now I did say that there was another way that we could do this, so what I'll do is I'll remove this, okay, and we'll try it another way. Just come down here, alright? So we'll just put our equations back. So we've got our equations now. Now in this method, I eliminated the x terms, but I could make the y terms exactly the same. I could bring them up to a number that both 2 and 3 go into, and preferably the lowest number they go into, and that would be 6. All I've got to do is multiply this top equation by 3 to bring this up to 6y, and multiply this second equation by 2 to bring it up to 6y. So let's try that. We'll take equation 1 and we'll multiply it by 3, and we'll take equation 2 and multiply that by 2. So if we do this, multiply the top equation here by 3, we're going to get 7x times 3 which is going to be 21x, 3 times the minus 2y is going to be minus 6y, and 3 times the 22 is 66. Next we're going to multiply equation 2 by 2. So we've got 2 times 5x which is 10x, 2 times plus 3y which is going to be plus 6y, and then 2 times the 29 which is going to be 58. And we just number these new equations 3 and 4, and then to eliminate the 6y's They've got opposite signs here, so the only way I can eliminate them is by adding the two equations here. So I can do 3 add 4, or even 4 add 3. It's going to be exactly the same answer. So if we do 3 add 4, we've got 21x then, plus 10x, so that's going to be 31x. We've got minus 6y, let's just check it out over here. We've got minus 6y and we are adding this to plus 6y. So we've got two positives here, replaced with a positive, so minus 6y plus 6y does indeed give us zero. It eliminates the y's. And then adding 66 and 58 together gives us 124. So dividing both sides now by 31, gives us x equals 124 divided by 31, which is 4. And again, if I substitute, say, x equals 4 into any one of the four equations, preferably though, 1 or 2 would be better than 3 and 4, because they're smaller values, but we'll go again into equation 2, say. Okay, if we do equation 2, then what we've got is 5 times x, 5 times 4, plus the 3y equals the 29. So we've got 20 plus 3y equals 29. Take away 20 from both sides and you've got 3y equals 9. Divide both sides by 3 and you end up with y equaling 9 divided by 3, which is 3. So again, you can see that x equals 4 and y equals 3. Okay, so any of these two methods is going to get you to the solution. 
So I hope that's given you an idea now how to solve simultaneous equations like these by the method of elimination.